Hello, this just in to the WSND newsroom. Shoals are strangely appearing just south of Cape Romano. We now go live to Chuck Chuckley in the field. Chuck. Hi, reporting here live with world famous Argonaut Aaron Galley. Tell us about the shoals that are strangely appearing here at the south end of Cape Romano. All right, well. These shoals in the background are formed by sand coming down the coast of Florida from up north, and they come and they accumulate south uh, in these shoals that you see here. And these shoals are the start of small islands. Oh, and uh, that's interesting. Where, where do those plants come from? Well, those plants are called pioneer plants. They're the plants that come into a, to an island like this first, and they kind of set the the tone for other plants, larger plants, to come in and uh, start to grow on these islands. And as these islands get larger, there'll be more pioneer plants and more larger plants start to grow. Wow, that's interesting, Aaron. Uh, you mean that uh, someday these islands will have all those mangrove trees and all that stuff? Yes, that's correct. Chuck, I understand that Cape Romano is further developed than Shoals. Could you tell us about that? Welcome here to the viewers from the southern tip of uh, Cape Romano. I'm again here with world famous Argonaut Aaron Golly to explain the next succession plants on a barrier island. All right, well, we're standing here a little above the rack line. Uh, you can see that this is where vegetation starts. Uh, we showed you earlier uh, the islands and how they form. And uh, now we're staying here kind of uh, at a later stage in an island formation. And you can see that uh, larger plants have started to grow. We've got some uh, sea oak uh, right here. And then moving back, you've got a bay. And past that, you've got uh, mangrove again. The mangrove is growing around the bay because it's a less harsh environment. Uh, there's less wave action. And it's also uh, a, much, a much better ecosystem. That's it for tonight from uh, Southern Tip of Cape Romano, Chuck Chuckley, WSMG, signing off. Chuck, before you sign off, could you show us any examples of prime beach erosion? Here again, Harry Dolly to describe uh, the three live. All right, um, And uh, you can see that the waves are washing in on the shore, and uh, every wave that washes in um, carries out sand. And uh, in the early 80s, this house was built with about 300 feet of uh, shoreline between the house and the beach. Uh, now you can see the house is starting to fall into the water, and uh, it's a prime example of beach erosion. Live, WSND at Cape Serrano, just gently. Thanks for that special report, Chuck. We now take you to your regularly scheduled presentation.